Hello there and good afternoon. The Prime Minister has backed away from plans to force companies to have employees directly on their boards. The plan was originally announced by Theresa May at the Conservative Conference in October. But in her first speech to the Confederation of British Industry, the Prime Minister said it would be up to business to decide how workers would be represented. While it's important that the voices of workers and consumers should be represented, I can categorically tell you this is not about mandating works councils or the direct appointment of workers or trade union representatives on boards. Some companies may find that these models work best for them, but there are other routes that use existing board structures, complemented or supplemented by advisory councils or panels, to ensure all those with a stake in the company are properly represented. Live to central London and Sky's political correspondent Darren McCaffrey. And Darren, perhaps unsurprisingly, the unions are not happy by what they say is a watering down of a promise. Uh, no, uh, no, they're not. And even though we don't think it's necessarily a U-turn, it's certainly a change in language, a clarification, I think, Darling Street are telling us today in Theresa May's uh, message that, yes, she does want uh, workers' voices to be heard, uh, essentially, on the boards of companies, but not necessarily mandated that they have to be uh, represented. Now, many people had got the impression, certainly at the autumn conference, that that was what Theresa May was proposing. And as you say, the unions have uh, reacted uh, with anger today to all of this. We're hearing from uh, Tim Roach. He's the General Secretary of the GMB Union. He is saying uh, that the Prime Minister stood in front of big business today and watered down a pledge made just a few months ago shows us all we need to know. The mask is slipping. Nice speeches followed by broken promises will not help working people get fairness and dignity in the workplace. Uh, now, it must be said that this proposal on workers having a voice in the boardroom is part of this deal that Theresa May essentially wants to make with business, uh, that she wants them to pay the right amount of tax or else she will go after them, uh, that she wants more women, for example, executive, for example, on boards, because she thinks business needs to change. She thinks the message from the Brexit referendum uh, was that people just don't trust businesses enough anymore. And that was what she was trying to convey in this speech to the CBI this morning. We all know that in recent years the reputation of business as a whole has been bruised. Trust in business runs at just 35% amongst those in the lowest income brackets. The behaviour of a limited few has damaged the reputation of the many. And fair or not, it is clear that something has to change. But as part of this bargain, she also wants to demonstrate that she is pro uh, business and that is why she emphasized time and time again uh, today that she believes in capitalism she wants to make capitalism uh, work and also this suggestion that she wants to cut tax particularly corporation tax saying that she is aiming to make it the lowest of any of the major economies now that could be interesting considering that is also what Donald Trump wants so I don't know whether she can trump trump uh, when it comes to corporation tax. But ultimately, the big issue in the room that she did touch upon but really didn't tackle head on uh, is Brexit. Now, uh, business here are absolutely desperate for some form of clarity or indeed uh, certainty when it comes to Britain's negotiation position when it comes to Brexit. Yet again, Theresa May Jane, though, was very clear she is not going to provide a run of commentary and she will only say things when she's got something uh, to say. Not really what business leaders uh, want to hear, but ultimately what they've got. Okay, Darren, thanks very much.